can know me at all. Woo! I'm just going to do um, a cappella John Mayer for the rest of the night. How would that be? Do you know me? No, just kidding. Um, so, up next, we have a man who was dressed in a turban tonight and also in a Star Trek vest. What is your costume, Steve? Well, I'll explain that oh, okay. as I All get right. on stage. Right. It's part of his act. But let me introduce to you Mr. Steve Kahn. God damn, good to be here. Pistol Peaks, open mic. I'm glad to be getting on early though. God, it's a little nippy out here. It's like it's in Pistol Peaks dock house. It's freezing out here, man. Come on. All right, good to be here. Did I say that already? Shit, I'm sorry. Okay, good to see you. Hey, let's give it a hand for uh, Mr. Steve McIntyre. Tonight's his last open mic. He's this is his uh, last helicopter out of Saigon open mic. He's moving to Colorado within a matter of days. Because, hey, it's only appropriate, I think we know the, uh, because everyone knows the motto of New Mexico, before land of enchantment, what was it? Pack your shit and leave, that's right. And he's falling in, he's taking that dream, God bless him. What was that all about? <laughs> oh, this is true, for God's sake, come on. All right, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoy my costume. Yes, I am captain of the USS Starship uh, Can't Get Laid, so we are in similar, uh, similar uh, boat there, my friend, and uh, Man, I was, uh, I was down at Walmart today shopping. They got some spooky outfits. Did you guys see that? They got like people in electric wheelchairs all beat to shit with like oxygen tubes up their nose. Oh, scary as shit. Of course, they always dress up. Oh, no, I'm kind of glad Halloween would kind of reach the apex of Halloween. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tired because I get cable and they show all the horror movies. And you have like, uh, they've been showing like uh, the Wrong Turn series. You guys know Wrong Turn? You know about the inbred mutant cannibal hillbillies? And I swear, if I see another documentary about Lordsburg, I have had it. I'm not gonna watch. Okay, we got people from Lordsburg tonight here. I'm sorry, Jesus Christ. No, but uh, oh god, no. Uh, Trump, Trump's getting into the spirit. Do you hear he's gonna put candles in his head and sit outside the White House? You know, he's getting into the festive spirit for Halloween. And actually, I'm wearing the turban tonight uh, for solidarity with my. Immigrant uh, brothers and sisters out there, you know, are getting bullied by Mr. Trump. Let's hear it for him, you know. Hey, all right, that's right. You know, when I when I went to college here back in the day, I remember we had a, a Pakistani uh, exchange student named Ashish. It's true, and I remember the day I was sitting in the cafeteria and someone said Ashish is in the library. You never saw a stampede of kids just rush out to the library to go give that kid a warm welcome, Ashish. It was wonderful. I think it's a little pun, word pun on the name there. That's what it was. Woo! Woo! Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. What, what, so what, tell me, guys, let's hear some stories. What brought you to the Harvard of the Southwest, NMSU? Uh, guys, uh, got, you got a girl pregnant at Deming High or something? <laughs> or, you, you burnt down the preschool and hatched at that end and had the Lilo. I got in the PGM program down here, golf. P is that true? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a degree in theater arts, I did, and uh, Pierre and I, well, I wish I told you on the degree you'll be watching Hawaii Five-0 with your mom and her cats when you're 40. I just wish it had kind of just put that out in the fine print. I really would have appreciated it. I'm glad we have musicians here tonight, guys. Uh, guys are a bit younger, I don't know if you're into the whole that old argument, Beatles versus Stones. What do you guys come down on that? You guys have an opinion? Is it Slayer? Slayer? <laughs> dun, 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 I'm talking dun, dun, pants, dear. I'm talking about bands. I, I don't know. Corduroy, that's a whole different story. I can't do it. No, I'll tell you, listen, listen. The Beatles for me, now this is just me. The Beatles for me had the most perfect codependent abusive relationship in rock, all right? <laughs> Are, I'm serious. Did you see? Did you see the interviews when they broke up? Like John was like, "Oh, Paul's music is shite. It's granny music. It's fairy tales and Yoko's a genius." And, and Paul to this day, he's like, 
you know, John's just a really honest guy, you know, he's just really <laughs> honest and loving, you know, and, you know, oh, how'd I get this? Oh, I walked into a door. No, he loves me, he really does, he loves me. <laughs> oh my God, what we got? Uh, more music. Uh, Look at the size of those pumpkins back there, holy shit. Yeah, that's true, they are big pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> They're as inflated as your ego, Steve. I think you have to take them down. What do you think? Oh, right. Touche, my lord. Touche. Touche. You guys hear you like Springsteen? Bruce Springsteen was on Broadway. Did you hear that? Bruce Springsteen was on Broadway and uh, he was singing his own stuff. I thought he was going to sing standards. Huh? What do you think? I met a girl named Maria. You know, or. Oh, well, never was there ever a cat so keen as magical Mr. Moscopheles. You know, grades. Really? Bob, <laughs> they bring it Broadway. Bob Dylan is coming to Broadway. I think, I think it might be just his songs. I hope it's not him, because Bob's, Bob's like the greatest songwriter of all time, but his voice is gone at this point, folks. It's sort of like, it probably be a little something like this. Yeah. Now, blowing in the wind. Uh, the times, they are changing. Uh, like a Rolling Stone. I still, I still love you, Bob. Strike from the Gremlins called the greatest show ever released, so it was, it was a classic. Uh, I still own Blonde on Blonde. I have blonde on blonde. Yeah. I told Sean that he thought he's had a porn. Oh my god, I gotta rent that. I said fucking blonde on blonde. I gotta. Oh I gotta tell you guys. Yeah, I am. Uh, I know this is a shock. I'm a. Uh, I, I sell comic books at comic conventions. I know. You think you're looking at me on like a sex symbol? You're like, whoa. Let's see some comics. Oh. No, I sell my. But I tell you, you can't do it anymore. These comic cons for the artists. They charge two, three hundred dollars a table. I can barely break even. And I'll tell you why, you guys have always wanted to know this. I'll tell you why. Because of the celeb photo ops. They bring in the goddamn celebs, and they charge them like 80 bucks a pop for their photo, for people to pose with them, and they're raising the jack of the rates on our tables. That's what's happening. But I figured out the key. I figured out the key. Don't go to the convention for like Chris Evans, you know, play Captain America, or Patrick Stewart, you know, Picard shows up. Go to the conventions where they have like the extra who's eaten on the fifth season of Walking Dead, you know, or, or the 28th Doctor Who, or Bruce Willis, someone who's just fucking over with, you know, won't charge anything for their... All right, you guys, you guys, you guys warming up out there? Jesus Christ. You getting UNICEF blankets out here? Jesus, come on, fucking cool. All right, I'll wrap it up, uh, Mr. Steve, a little musical number of my own. We're gonna a new theme song for New Mexico. I think, uh, I, but I need, what I need is some clapping. I need some clapping, I need sort of a little... Yeah, real fast clapping, clapping like that, a little faster. A little faster. No, it needs to be in time, sir, you're a drummer. For God's sake, come on, come on, buddy. There you go. Great, great, here we go. Okay, wait, together, together, are we together? Let's get together. There we go, good. Here we go, one, two, three. Albuquerque makes movies and homeless on the pavement and TRC has hot springs and sex slaves in the basement. Oh, 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 let's go New Mexico. That's the price when you roll the dice in old New Mexico. If you worship crystals, you might want to check out Taos. And the farming tin isn't much fun unless you like banging cows. Oh, 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 keep it up. Let's go New Mexico. That's the price when you roll the dice in old New Mexico. Thank you, drum major. Last verse, help me out. And Santa Fe has pinion and many different aromas. And Crucis is where you move when you want to slip into a coma. Oh, 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 let's go, New Mexico. That's the price when you roll the dice in old New Mexico. God bless you. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Khan. I'm thoroughly depressed now. Thank you. <laughs>